So today I'm here because I heard there was going to be a protest uh, regarding the horse carriage industry in Montreal. So I came by to speak with some of the protesters and all that and see what their opinions are and hear what they have to say about the horse carriage industry and their concerns. Um, after an unfortunate incident that we saw again last week where a horse uh, got away from its uh, driver and uh, had a collision with a car. I think it's time now that the city of Montreal finally takes action and actually does something about this industry. We're clearly not capable of controlling the industry. Um, if the mayor can't answer four requests that we've made, I think he needs to seriously consider what the future of this industry is in Montreal. And the four requests, uh, like I said in the media last week, were very simple. An immediate inquiry on the incident that happened, along with a suspension of the permits for the, uh, the owner of those kaleshes. Uh, again, to uh, hold a public consultation immediately on the place of the horse carriage industry in Montreal, so that Montrealers can actually say what they actually feel and what they think about the horse carriage industry, and so that the mayor stops speaking on behalf of all Montrealers and listens to them. And on top of that, he renders public the, uh, the document that he had Cheval Cheval prepare for him about the horse carriage industry in Montreal, and also an increase of inspectors because clearly there's not enough inspectors on the road. We saw in the paper a day following that uh, one of the, uh, the stables in Montreal received a $600 fine recently. Again, it's a $600 fine. I find that really interesting. It's not a lot of money. It's not a very big fine. We rarely hear about fines. Um, and there clearly are a lot of problems happening and a lot of incidents that are happening, but we're only hearing about one fine for one thing. And I have a hard time believing that that's the only incident. Or that's the only thing. So, you know, again, in some cases, it's a shame that, that these things are happening, but we're lucky also that people are fast enough to document it and photograph it because as city councillors and as a city, uh, as a city administration, we need proof and evidence of these things because it can't be based just, just solely on public opinion. There has to be good reason to do it too. But I think now after the number of incidents that have continued to happen over the last uh, couple of years and in the, pre in the past that uh, we have sufficient reason to question the industry now. And I mean, again, we're talking about about 25 kaleshes in the city. The city back in 2009 bought back $500,000 worth of the permits to reduce the industry because they weren't able to control the amount of kaleshes that were on the road. They brought it down in order to do that. And even at 22, 25 kaleshes, we still can't control it. So, you know, maybe we have to look, in, look into phasing things out or look at, look at taking the same approach again with what's going on now. Well, the mayor actually said this time that he's considering all options, including banning this outright. Well, what do you make of that? Uh, I mean, it's a statement. I'd like to see an action. I mean, words are one thing, but actions yeah. are another thing, right? I mean, the mayor did last year speak out when we talked about the, the Humidex and the heat factor and making sure that the clashes went in. Did all clash drivers respect that? I would hope that they did, but again, how do we know? Did we have enough inspectors on the road? Did we see any incidents where they didn't? So that's an issue. I mean, he says that he wants to consider all options, but yet he's waiting on a report that he's had since last year that still hasn't been made public. What does this report say? What was the purpose of this report? And uh, is this report now being reworked in order to accommodate a new line? And I mean, these are, these are serious concerns that I have when it comes to this issue. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank you. Thank you.